What is up, RecTech family? We're back with episode three of Barbecue, and cheers to cheers. episode three of Barbecue. Yeah, Thanks for having Yay. us again. Yes. So if you've been keeping up with us, it is Halloween week. Halloween is on Saturday. We're so excited. So Madeline and Shannon have the cutest Halloween <laughs> recipe to grill for y'all today. So I'm going to pass it over to Madeline and Shannon, guys. What are we grilling today? Hey, Rec What's Tech Nation. Up, everyone? <laughs> What's up? Welcome back. Week three. We haven't gotten fired yet. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Thank you guys for sharing and supporting us so we can come back. Mm -hmm. um, this week, so it is Halloween week. I don't notice if you, or know if Super you noticed excited. last. Yeah. Spooky. Spooky excited. Spooky, Spooky excited. Um, last week was chicken week. So the guys like to throw us curveball and we got to stay on track with their what their theme of the week theme halloween. of the week and they said yeah. halloween and they thought they were gonna have the best recipes but we're coming in strong we with this came one. in strong and didn't say anything about what we were doing no um this week we have spooky potato skin pizza mm. adorable extra mm. fun spooky. for the kids yeah oh my gosh so much so fun. fun and i was telling you earlier that my best friend his favorite kind of pizza shout out carson um he loves potato pizza and i've never had it but there's this restaurant that's interesting. yeah it's a restaurant in georgia that that's what they're known for is potato I mean, pizza i just love potatoes i love pizza my best friend i call her potato, potato. <laughs> so shout, shout out, out to my best friend <laughs> hannah if you're watching who is a potato. <laughs> a potato. All right, so let's get started. Yeah. Um, we put a bunch of potatoes because we got to we got to feed everybody here at Rectech. Yes, but we do. We put potatoes, just washed them, cleaned them, put them mm -hmm. on our grill mat at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. Ooh, hot potato. Yes. Did you ever play that game growing up? I mean, not really. Oh, I played all the time with my brothers in the no, car. Like for sure would yeah. throw. No, no. Uh, I was accident prone. So it was like you were in the car and the music would be playing and you would um, have just an object you'd pass around and whenever the music stopped, if you had it, you were- Not an actual hot potato. potato. No, no. Yeah. But that would be the best way to, yeah, because you had to just, you know, throw it. So Love anyways, it. Um, so 40 minutes at 400 mm -hmm. degrees and we're just going to slice these all the way through. They're going to be a little tough still because they are undercooked. Mm. Look at that. Ooh, steamy. What's one of your favorite potato recipes? <sighs> I love sweet potato and I didn't eat them until literally this year. like took 25 years to start eating yeah. sweet What's potatoes. everyone's favorite potato recipe? Drop it in the comments. Drop that in the comments. And I'll while you're in the comments, Rachel is there to answer all questions. Again, Rachel, shout out Rachel for moderating. Yes. Greg loves purple potatoes. Like yeah. he, any chance he can to cook with purple potatoes, he's like purple potatoes. So I'll be honest, my favorite potatoes back in Alabama, it's at this barbecue place. It, their potatoes are literally like this big. Gosh. And it's a barbecue chicken potato. It's got cheese. It's got Is sour it like, cream. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's just like, I could eat that every day. I love potatoes. Well, you can make it because, you know, you're a barbecue. I chef. just, I don't think that my potatoes would come out as well. So do you think honest. when someone else makes food for you, it tastes better? Like, even um, a salad. If I make a salad, it's not as good as if, like, my friend makes me a salad or I go to a restaurant. Eh, sometimes I have tasted some of my friends cooking and it was not good. Yeah, I'm a control <laughs> freak, so I gotta cook. So you'd rather cook? <laughs> and I like my food the best. And All like right. they come up with like weird combinations. I mean, but that's what they just, like. So like, yeah, maybe but what it's you like, why, why are you going to throw that on me? What if I don't <laughs> like that? So I wonder guys, what some weird combinations are that people do I'm, with their food. We're just going to scoop the insides out and you're going to leave about a fourth of an inch. Um, it's a little messy. It's not the easiest because it is undercooked, so keep that in mind. What's up, Olivia? Will y'all recap how we prep these potatoes? Yeah. yeah Just sure. for 40 minutes at 400, so they're a little undercooked. Like I said, if you're going to do a baked potato, you might go for like an hour, especially these are large. Funny story, when I went to Publix this morning, when I was checking out, the, the, the bagging guy was like, did you leave any potatoes? Like, <laughs> because I got so many and then Greg needed them, so. I feel like you're a peacock. Picasso with this. I am not. It's not the easiest. I'm going to let you guys know that right now. But oh. about a fourth of an inch, you're going to scoop out and leave just a little bit of potato at the end. You don't want it to be like specifically just the potato skin. Well, I, I'm just going to leave it that little bit of extra potato goodness That's in fine. there for myself. Ooh, this one's easier. What, oh. uh, what pellets are y'all using today? Today, we are using those Kingsford hickory pellets. So, I was standing out here, it's like a process to choose which bag of pellets to use. 
Madeline always comes out here while I'm sitting here. Staring. Staring. <laughs> wandering. We went with those hickory because vegetables. And they're also great with some bacon, which we are going to be using bacon today. I know yeah, everyone's like, bacon. I love Who everybody doesn't? loves bacon. I mean, bacon and potatoes. Come on now. I put a little bit of honey rib rub on my bacon this Ooh. morning. Ooh. I love that. But we yeah. should have uh, we should have done this. We should have tried this out first. Yeah. Guys, this, this is fine. It's easy. It really is. But it's trying to not mess it up or go through the skin. This the is kids? real. This is raw. This yeah. is us doing it for this the real This is untrained. Time. Yeah. The kids would love Don't this, judge though. Us. I feel like five-year-old Shannon would have loved just scooping out some potatoes. Just helping out in the kitchen. Just yeah. helping out. What would you do with this leftover potato? I feel like you can kind of Ooh. make some mashed potatoes if you were to, I don't know, mm, can you? Because it's know. yes. For already sure. out of the potato. Definitely do something. Well, that's what you got to do. Put it I in mean, a potato yeah. soup. <gasps> Loaded potato soup is yes. my fave. Yes. I mean, potato is still potato. You know? So you can I still say use potato, the goodness. You say potato. We all say potato. <laughs> so Some guys, people say potato. Like every week, smash that share button. We're still yeah. getting the word out about barbecue. Please yeah, and we have five giveaway family. winners. Yeah. Five giveaway winners Woo! this week. And speaking of giveaways, that interesting looking board behind Madeline is... Well, you'll figure out what that is at the end of the no, show. No, yeah, let's kind of go over it, should we? Do you want to or do you want to wait? I mean, yeah, I'm going to quit on this. This is enough for <laughs> this. <laughs> the show. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, so what I did, y'all, was I took eight different prizes from the Fun Day Friday prize wheel. There is a grill. There is a cooler. Hmm. Rub spice bundles, Dirty Girl products, um, even a matador. And I printed it out on a piece of paper. I uh, rolled it up, put it into the balloon, blew them up, put it on the board, and Olivia, who is the all-time best dart player here <laughs> at RecTech, yeah, right, but she thank you. is going to try to hit one balloon. She doesn't know what's in, uh, which ones are which, no and we'll idea. see what we win and we give away on this show. What do y'all think about that? Let us know in the comment section if you like that idea. That way... Do we have any dart fans out there? Yeah. Dart League. We're bringing Rectech it. Dart We're League. bringing it to RecTech. We have RecTech uh, Disc Black Golf. We have and Rectech we have flag, flag football, football coming. coming up. That's new. That'll Shannon be is a I'm a GM. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I've been very much thinking about my roster here at RecTech. Oh, you better pick me. Oops. I mean, I'll just have to see the talent here at RecTech, to be honest with you. You know, I'm trying to win. Only girl <laughs> GM, so. I feel you. I'm going to see every, I'm gonna have to see everyone's 40s. I mean, it's just like everyone. We'll do better than the guys. For sure. All the call center guys, you know. They I've just been the only girl on fantasy football, and it's rough, y'all. They you, are mean. You, oh, yeah, you're the only girl. We have, y'all, we're so competitive here. Like, they, everything we ever do is so competitive. You have to win. So any chance there's, like, a bet going on, they bet on, oh, like, God. marbles. They'll, like, race marbles. Like they, they give me trash trades all day. I haven't <laughs> made a single trade all season because it's bull. But What's anyway. your team called? Um, my team, I have two teams. The first one is called Team Intern because I am forever the intern here. <laughs> Even though JK, you've worked here longer really, than, like, but, anybody. <laughs> but that's just an inside joke. My other team, because I had Christian McCaffrey as my quarterback, no, running back, running back, right, was run CMC, except he's been injured for, like, six weeks. So, anyway, we'll see how that goes. Well, <laughs> you seem to know what you're talking about. That was gibberish I'm to me. I'm doing my best. <laughs> all right. So, I did all four of mine. They're I got rough. Lazy. So guys, <laughs> it's okay. Can. It is okay if they are rough. I mean, I love potatoes, so I left a little bit more potatoes than Madeline. Also, not a Picasso, <laughs> so they look rough. It's okay. I mean, it's still gonna go in your stomach, same way as if it looks yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So all we're gonna do it's is spray the, the outside with some cooking spray. Here you go. And I'm gonna put it on our RT. We're cooking on the RT 590 today. Oh, switcheroo. Oh yeah. So isn't this the grill that you have at home? Yeah. So <laughs> at 400 degrees, I'm gonna put it right here on the cooking mat. You don't have to do this. I did that earlier because it was easier to transfer all the potatoes. Um, bam, bam. So you're just gonna have it, put the cooking spray on the outside, put it face down. We're gonna cook that for another 10 minutes. Um, but guys, what's awesome about this is this is the RTD. It's going to read the ambient temperature of your grill. It's going to keep it on that precise PID controller. What you set it, set it, forget it, do whatever you want. Talk about sports, talk about whatever. Go yeah. hang out with the fam. Yeah. Go we're watch the game. Family time here. Yes. All right. So while we're waiting for those, we are going to make up a delicious pizza sauce. I'm Yum. super excited about it. Yeah. I feel like everyone You're thinks like 
a professional at making sauce now. I love you are. sauce. The okay. sauce girl. I'm Saucy. sorry. Love sauce. So do what I'm going to do. Do you ask for extra sauce when you order pizza? Uh, cheese, extra sauce. My way to go. I'm very plain, basic cheese, extra sauce. So what we're going to do now, I got some of this tomato paste. I'm just going to take a little bit out. Madeline almost forgot this. Got very confused at the store today. Thank Guys. the Lord that Chef Greg <laughs> came through and had some tomato paste in there. For there us. was a lot going on at the store today. I'll tell you that much. So All Greg asked me, he asked me to get him like 10 pounds of potatoes, potatoes on top of the potatoes I needed to get. He asked me for, he said food, he said black food gel. And I said, is that in the baking aisle? And he said, yes. And I said, okay. So I got him the closest thing to it, which was, I thought was icing. And he meant food coloring. Aww. So. I don't feel like that was all my mistake. Not but, all yours. But that was definitely my mistake. Yeah, that was for <laughs> sure. She got Look, some we all do it. <laughs> all right, so next up, what I'm going to do is I got some spinados, thanks to Jody. Yes. He let us borrow this. I'm going to put just a little bit in there, just a little bit. Actually, what is we're spinados? Just marinara? It's a yeah, great, it's a marinara. delicious it's a Great brand. marinara. So then, oh, almost need to wipe my fingers. There you go. So then what I'm going to do is we love garlic here. Just throw a little bit of garlic in there. Just put as much as your heart desires. <gasps> then, gonna put some onions, yes. of course. Y'all, we love garlic and onion. Mm -hmm. Sorry mm -hmm. to whoever's mm -hmm. kissing us later, but. I mean, <laughs> probably my dog. <laughs> right? She's <laughs> the best. She'll be happy with it. She will be happy. I mean, I was cooking the other day and you should have seen her. She acted like she ain't never gotten fed. And I was like, come on, Range, stop acting like that. She was ridiculous. I'm gonna put just a little bit more in there, but then, one of my favorite things, which if you watched our first episode, we're gonna add in some of this Dirty Girl Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. Habanero? Yes. Habanero, because you know, it. you know what I realized as we started the show? We forgot some red chili flakes, but that's okay. That's okay. Habanero will take care so of it. So just put a little extra of that in there, yeah, right? for sure. Mm. We're just gonna put a little bit of extra in that in there. For those who like, likes Dirty Girl Bloody Marys, what flavor is your favorite? Let us know. Yep. Amanda would love to know. Amanda She's back there watching. We'll make a drink with it next yes. week. Yeah. I can't wait to see what everyone says. I mean, I'm a habanero. If I, people have been watching, they know that we like spicy, yeah, I feel like. And I've mixed classic with habanero just to cool it down a little bit mm -hmm. so I don't have the horseradish, but my family loves the horseradish. So next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw in some Colden's freaking Greek. This is possibly, I think, my favorite. Really? We use it every yeah. episode, honestly, so. Yeah, yeah, I use it every episode. It's I mean, just throw a little bit in there, throw a little bit more, did riot mode. Riot mode. Right. Engaged. And then just to add a little bit more flavor, we're going to add just a little bit of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub on in there as well, too. I can't wait to try this piece of pizza sauce. You're the sauce queen. Dang, I can't talk today. <laughs> You're the sauce Did queen. Did you have a um, question, queen. Olivia? No, I just had a comment that I really appreciate. So yeah. I'm sorry if I butcher this name, but Javier Isaac mm. Morales Cabrera. Ooh, oh, fancy. Said, oh, man. Great name. <laughs> he said, I just want to say I'm loving the honesty, and this is what it's going to look like at home, the feel of the show. Which yes. I love that. Yes, that really yes. means the most. I feel We're, like I've said this We're every episode, but honestly, y'all, we have no culinary cooking. background. No, like, you should have seen me out here cooking or cutting up that garlic. Oh, yeah. It was rough. <laughs> But like I, in college, I loved cooking. So I thought I knew how to cook. And then I came to Rec Tech and I really learned how to cook. But I'm not like nearly as good as any of the chefs or anybody else really. No. Anybody can do this. Just watch our shows. We are as educated as y'all are at home from the other shows. So shout out Chef Greg, Chef yep. John, Jody. Thank you so much for just being our, like our leaders when it comes to this stuff. Our, you, that's your- Our professors. More onion. Rex I know. Steak. No, it's, onion. The so it's that's your thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. all about you. Put the whole thing in there. I love onion. I mean, look at that. Sharp. Come on. Get in. Get on, on in, in there. Yeah. You know, I would tell you get to put pepperoncinis in there. And here. Get on in there. That. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> that one. Pepperoncinis hey, and sauce. Guys, uh, this is my. Look be at my that sauce. I ain't even Italian. Hey, <laughs> and this looks good. This might be my favorite recipe so far because yeah. there's just pepperoncinis on the table. Yeah, for yep, sure. yep. If y'all don't know, Madeline's a pepperoncini fiend. Not just me, you. I, okay, I'm in there too. We're animate. Look at Amanda. You're way more hardcore like, than any of us. Y'all, so. we just <laughs> snack on pepperoncinis all day. It's not even like an exaggeration. Like, Delish. I mean, it's not the healthiest, but we literally, Olivia and I, will go through a jar a day. Like yeah, a buddy. jar. That's excessive. They're Love my em. favorite. She said that's excessive. <laughs> that's I know. Excessive. <laughs> all right. So those check on those potatoes. I mean, we can. Yeah. How about long have they been minutes. on there? They're supposed to be on there for 10 minutes. Yep. we got and a minute or two left. Just a couple minutes. Them, girl. A couple minutes yeah. left on them. Just Look a couple. 
Yeah. Look at those. What do you guys like on your pizzas? So we have olives, pepper, mm -hmm. mushroom, pepperoni, banana or pepperoncinis. Um, what do you guys like? Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon up in here. Y'all, it's Halloween week. I have to ask you some Halloween questions. Yeah. I have to. It's oh my no. favorite time of year, and oh I'm just no. gonna milk it. Let's do it. So Let's both of you, Madeline. What is your favorite ever Halloween costume that you've ever dressed up as? I feel like a repetitive one I did as a child because <laughs> I loved it was um, like half devil, half angel. <laughs> wow. But like, I feel like I never got out of that yeah. outfit either. That's like, <laughs> it depends on what day you catch me. I might be one or the other. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I can see that. Well, so <laughs> whenever Olivia had said that she was going to ask about our favorite Halloween costume, yes. I had many. But I decided to text my mother. Mini ma oh, oh, mini. You had many. Yeah, I've had okay. many. Many. I mean, I'm 27. So, obviously, I dress up every year. Yeah. 27 costumes. Texted my mother, and I was like, Mom, didn't you dress me up as a skunk one year? <laughs> no. Oh, wait, what? I was not a skunk. <laughs> I was a pig, and I absolutely hated Stop. being a pig. I mean, I actually want a pet pig, but, but so cute. I hated being a pet pig. I hated being a pig whenever Halloween came around. So, guess what I did one year? What? I got a pig costume and I put it on my fat dog <gasps> that we have back in Alabama. Now, he was cute as a pig. Yeah. Aww. I did not think that I was a cute pig. But that's probably my favorite you were a one. Cute are you going to dress up as um are you going to dress up for anything this year? I don't know. Are you coming to the Halloween party? I don't know. We have it's a, a surprise. Right Halloween party on Saturday. What does everyone think? Yeah, what that we should be for Halloween? We were going to dress up, but our costumes did not come in. Yeah, they didn't, y'all. We were gonna be so, so cute. We were so excited, so sad. but it's okay. So sad. Make sure you go on, smash that share button. Punch it. Smash. Punch it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Punch like that share button. I'm gonna that pull these potatoes off while y'all are punching things in, in the, the face. face. So that all your friends and family I did see know a couple up. comments last week asking if I was a boxer. What? Yeah, because I cut my knuckles. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. didn't mean to. What didn't did you mean do? To. Didn't mean to. I mean, it was just a casual <laughs> mishap on the grill. I'm sorry. Dude, Tom Greer said, so, oh, I yeah. dressed up as a large box TV when I was a kid. I fell over and could not get up. That is <laughs> that is great. He said that, Tom? Tom Greer. Shout out. TV. Shout, out to to Tom. shout out to Tom. That's dedication. Yeah. You want to hear a funny one, though? What's up? One year, I was with my best friend who is potato, potato. and we just literally took Bud Light boxes, yeah. put them on our heads, yeah. and we were just a case of beer. Nice. It was great. I love that. It cheap. was very easy. I like cheap, anything easy. Fun. Drink the beer, wear the Drink, box. Literally had the beers with us, put the box on our head, so and easy. it was great. great Didn't night. even have to do my makeup up underneath. Talking about easy, this makes everything easy. Mm. Literally, the cooking mat, fourteen ninety eight at um, rectech.com. And like just throw that in the dishwasher whenever we're done. Yeah, I hate doing dishes, y'all. Like poor dishes. Sherpa behind the camera. Y'all give Sherpa a shout out for Sherpa, always being on so freaking helpful here at Rectech. I wish you could just like turn it around and be like selfie, selfie mode. mode. <laughs> One day let's bring, even though it's a girl show, let's bring Sherpa on to cook. What yes. would you cook, Sherpa? Mm, I don't know. I'd probably do like some kind of tacos or something. Yeah. Tacos. Yeah. Real up, quick Olivia? for our new listeners and new watchers, yeah. what are we doing today? Recap the recipe real quick for us. So we are doing spooky Halloween pizza bites. So cute. And they are going to be delicious. So we cut up our potatoes. We half them. But before we did that, on the grill for about 40 minutes. 40 mm -hmm. minutes at 400. What did we set that at 400? Yeah. 400. And as you can see, precise PID controller right here. It's at 4.03 right now, but that's because I opened the lid. So, of course, when that temp drops, because I opened the lid, it's going to realize that. The computer's going to read that temp change. It's going to feed more pellets. It's going to get you back up to the temp you need to be. So, it might spike for a second. Y'all, put trust in your rec tech. Like, do not overthink it. Do not overthink it. If you're it. looking, you For ain't cooking. If, you ain't, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Keep that lid closed. Yeah. Keep and the then, lid closed. after we pulled them off, we put after them back 40 on. minutes, we undid all the little yumminess all the potato all the yumminess <laughs> in there we have them pulled it all out yours look better than mine but that's okay actually i think you i might think have i might have mine. stolen y'all's i don't know maybe wow. i did no i put the two the wow. two which were probably mine wow. wow we just put them to the side so then what we did is we made a quick sauce just a little bit of tomato paste we put some of that dirty girl 
Bloody Mary habanero mix in there. And shout out to Spinatos. We put some of that in there as well. And we also put just a little bit of the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub and also the Colden's freaking Greek to make the delicious sauce. And also, of course, we put in some garlic and some onions in there as well, too. And now it's time for us to go ahead and just get on in there yeah. and start making our little guys. Load them up. So you leave about a fourth of an inch of potato left in there. So it's mm -hmm. not just a potato skin, but you do get that potato taste. Um, this is the closest thing to an actual pizza boat I feel like that you can get. Like this is yeah, actually a, yeah. like a boat. So what Sail I'm going to do. in the pizza land. So we're going to decorate it. So I'm going to just start with some of the cheese and sauce. This is the fun part. Mm. This is the best part. This is what your kids cheese. are going to absolutely, yes, absolutely love. Put that cheese on us this there. This is when you can get creative at home. Yes, Cute. the kids will love this whole recipe, I think. Are y'all sharing this so your best friends see it so they can do this with their kids too? Yeah, for I real. I hope you are. I hope that we see, I hope someone tags us. Yeah, yeah they did this that. on Halloween. That Tag, would be so, that would be cute. so cute to see. It. Someone so do yes. that, please. Recreating Make our, our day. Recipe. Yes. Make our Blinda, day. Blinda Hicks made some cauliflower tacos, they or at good. least the cauliflower nuggets, yeah. the buffalo ones that Nug, we made that one day. Nug that life. night she made it, and that was awesome because we have a group for our show, Rec Tech Barbecue. Barbecue. Find that private group, mm. request to join. We will always accept you if you're not a bot. That is why you have to request. <laughs> you're not but, a robot. Um, we will definitely accept you. And uh -huh. I think I'm going to go. How are you going to decorate these? <sighs> I'm going to make a I pumpkin. have a plan. I'm going to make a, I have no plan. I, I have never a have a plan. I have a plan. Y'all, I wing everything. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Okay, I'm down with that. We'll see what it is <laughs> at the end. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to steal some bacon from over here. Yeah, take that bacon. Mm. Take so, you bacon. I got How do y'all like y'all's bacon? Flimsy. Uh, flimsy. Flimsy, yeah. I, I like know flimsy. a lot of people like crispy. How does everyone like their bacon? Drop Crunchy. that down in the comments. Let's see how people like their bacon. I don't trust people making my bacon because I like it Ooh, so specifically. specifically mm -hmm. That like, I'm sure if you like Ooh. flimsy, I would trust you. Make but a, people that bit. like uh, crispy bacon, like turkey I'm like, you, yeah, you can't make oh, my bacon. Oh, don't hate on turkey Yo, bacon. Yeah, I like turkey bacon. Uh, don't hate on turkey good bacon. Good Lord, people. It is delicious. I love me some turkey bacon. Guys, I'm nervous. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna make a mouth from like, kind of like a, a pumpkin. But hey, have you seen the pumpkin that <laughs> Olivia made? Oh my gosh, y'all! Sherpa, get over here and look at get this pumpkin. Get on in there, Sherpa. This Acosta. takes real talent. No. No, you can give nah. Matt all the all the credit you want. He might have cleaned it up a little bit, but that is an amazing pumpkin. Joint effort, me and Matthew Acosta. But yes, it and did if take you're three hours. if you're signed up for our newsletter, you will. Um, get the email with that template and you can make your own rec tech secret giveaway. Yeah, and there's a giveaway Y'all y'all want to be insiders for um, I'm making mine Y'all I'm gonna make mine buck tooth. <laughs> buck tooth um, Look at yeah, that I'm guy. A buck tooth one. Look at him. I think he's precious. <gasps> That's so cute. It's just a little spooky guy. It's just a little spooky guy. Now like I'm gonna go zombie. full Picasso on everyone right now. Mm -hmm. Olivia's over know. here stealing all this. Sorry. I'm gonna go full Picasso and everyone. It doesn't really look like a whatever. This is so fun. We'll go with it. It is. I wonder what everyone could come up with. I mean, there's probably some artistic people out there. Oh yeah. I mean, I am not one. You're I doing just great. I'm trying my hardest. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I'm laughing at my my try over here. I am trying my hardest. I'm gonna make a little Frankenstein Turkey guy. Turkey garbage cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Vince that turkey bacon Sometimes y'all are so savage <laughs> in that comment section. Come we, on, people. We just laugh so hard sometimes at y'all's comments. We love it. That kind of hurts my heart. I love the honesty. Yeah, it's good. Okay, look at this whack. You have a little pumpkin guy. A <laughs> whack pumpkin I have. I'm taking this bottom part off. Oh, look at my little I pumpkin. Think, I think these olives, they don't need to. <laughs> y'all, this, that's, uh, y'all, I'm more talented <laughs> that. I was an art major at some point in my life, but that's pretty sad. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and I'm over here making little Frankenstein. Big olives didn't work. Well, big so olives didn't? Big olives did not. So he's it's got okay. his little right there oh, now. Olivia will eat them. I will. Oh, I love me some olives. Do you like green olives, black olives, Kalamata olives? All of the olives all in the, the world. Olives. Yeah. All of the olives. I order I olive love you. pizza. I really do. I'll go to a store and I'll be like, can I get um, every kind of olive you have? Just all of pizza? Please. They said... Scotty Wa Waters said, y'all are 100% correct. The kids would love doing this. Right? They would. So cute. You could honestly, like, I don't know about y'all, but growing up, my family always threw a Halloween party, um, oh. which Rogue is so 
so cute. You like it? I'm serious. Thanks. I just really looked at it. It's Thank adorable. You. Um, so my family always did a Halloween party and that was really cool because I got to like hang out with my friends and then you realize you like kind of take that stuff for granted. So, um, so my mom was always decorating for Halloween and it was big at our house and meeting Olivia here at work. She's obsessed with Halloween, like Y'all. obsessed with it. Love it. So I was like, you should throw a Halloween party and this would be the easiest like little appetizer or just sure. have your kids like if you have a party for Halloween, have the kids decorate. Just like let them get involved, and they would love it. They yeah. would. Are you doing spiders? Does it look like it? Because I'm you trying. Know the one does. I'm trying. I know it's time consuming, but it's I also get really. You know what? I'm gonna eat go. this, so I'm gonna take my gloves off. <laughs> it's gonna be my own germs. Well, why don't we go ahead and put this, <laughs> these guys back on real That's fast fine. for yeah. a minute while we're fixing up our other one? Does this look like a spider? Maybe not. All right, little guy. Guys, I'm trying. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Just go on in there. Are you talking okay. to your potatoes? Yeah, I'm just letting him know that he's going to go you gotta to a very good world in my belly. Yeah. I wonder what everyone else would create. I yeah, really what would y'all put on your pizza? That's what I wanted to know yeah, before. Like, what's your favorite yeah. kind of pizza? Buffalo chicken. Chicken. Buffalo chicken. But you do that with like subs, don't you, Jordan? Everything, everything in life. He's all is about what he some does. chicken, y'all. Jordan eats fried chicken, grilled chicken, kind of chicken, whatever it is. He eats chicken more than anybody I know. Like, I'm a yeah. little, I'm a little worried for him. Shout out I mean, Courtney Schiffel. She was just at our previous academy, and she said olives are life. Right. Olive, Thank olive, you. Olive life. Olive life. Shout out all of the um, olives. She was I such a sweet you. guest too. We really appreciate everybody that Can comes anybody? to Academy. Like we have a blast with y'all when you guys come. We Can really anybody do. guess? It's what not even work. Is. It's just fun. <laughs> Can anybody guess what mine is? <laughs> for for real. Can anybody guess? Because I'm over here working real hard on it mine. It looks like a snowman, which is not the season. Oh, it's a vampire. <sighs> and. He has found someone and has a little bit of blood all over He's him. He's a vampire. <laughs> he's a vampire? He's technically Frankenstein, but his ears keep falling off, so now he's just going to be a vampire. No, he's got blood it, all it. over it's him, falling. a.k.a. all this pepperoni. What? All the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia's laughing I'm at I'm laughing at how cute this is. I keep looking at it, and Y'all, it's so okay, cute. Okay, so this didn't come out looking too much like spiders, but you get the gist of it. Gif, gist, whatever it is. We get it all, right? So I'm going to put it. It's a big splatter. Oh, Amanda over here saying quench your... Thirst your quench, but c- correcting me. <laughs> hey, I have a good question. So we're gonna put these back on for like 10 minutes, just let that melt and um, cook a little bit longer. What's up? Vince Smitka said, will the Rec Tech Halloween party be live Facebook event like it always is? Thank you for asking. Yes, so because Halloween is on a Saturday this year, we had meetings, we had discussions, we had talks. We were trying to figure out what we we're gonna do. Because as you guys know, every year we go live as a company and show off our costumes. And we let you, the viewers, judge and tell us your favorite. And you get to judge and comment as many times as you want. Tell, like, if you like this one, comment it. And if you like the other one, comment it. But we get prizes at the end. So people really try to go all out. It's yeah, really, really fun. Prizes. They are hilarious. Like, it's the best fun we have. So because it's on a Saturday, we are going to have a Rec Tech gathering up here. And we will be going live at 4 p.m. on our Facebook page. So, like, stay tuned to and that. It is crazy. It's fun, y'all. It's fun. I don't know how many people are going to show up. I have to take a head count. But I hope the rules are if you show up, you have to be dressed up. And if you go live, you have to obviously be dressed up. But people go all out. Believe it or not, we do the most. Last year's our winner was um, we had Jamie as. Jamie was two years ago. He he was was Miss Miss Traeger. Traeger. That was hilarious. Magic queen extraordinaire. That was hilarious. Last year was, was it Thomas for Wrecking Ball? No, that was two years. Thomas. Came in as Miley Cyrus' Miley wrecking Cyrus. ball. I'm show my I had to show Shannon because she was new. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, but we had to show Shannon since she was new about how hard we go for Halloween and how ridiculous it gets. Can I show my potato? Pizza. Yeah, absolutely. You're All a right. vampire? My vampire potato that has <laughs> bacon eyelashes. I love it. I'm it's just going to be honest. I love I it. I thought it would be really cute. It's glamorous. Add a little bit more bacon in there. I love glamorous. it. Now he's going to go back you. on. So about 10 I'm minutes, name just let that Count cheese Dracula. Dracula. If I count Dracula, I you'll really want to know. I really want to see someone make this. Like I For really, real. I really, really want someone to tag us. Tag us, it. Madeline Bachelor, Shannon Mitchell. Just tag us. I don't care. Barbecue, Friday barbecue. Night, night join us. Barbecue. Well, while we're waiting, should we go over the giveaway thing again? And mm-hmm. we should announce a couple winners because we had five. Five. We had five, winners. five winners. I wonder if people remembered that we had five. Oh, they know a lot. 
So we gave away a rub and sauce bundle. We gave away mm -hmm. three Dirty Girl shirts, and we also gave away a whole Dirty Girl product line. Mm -hmm. So um, let's go over those winners, shall we? Ooh, winner. I hope that I'm a winner. All right, so let's go over the Can three t-shirt winners. Ooh, I whoop. can't win. Amanda, do you want to come in here and uh, just, no, you're good? Not here. Oh, you're not mic'd up, so we'll just say it. Okay, so let's see. Three t-shirt winners. Wow. Congratulations, Christopher French. Woo! Christopher French. Woo! Christopher. You want to go to the next one? Yep. Yeah. Wow, you would give me the hard last name. <laughs> <laughs> next winner <laughs> of that DG t-shirt. Bobby Massingale, and I'm Bobby. sorry nice. if I messed your Bobby. last name up. Bobby. Bobby. Nice. Bobby. Wait, Amanda. Ricky Bobby. So are these DJ, are they the show penny ones? Or are they exclusive? The, new one, the newest? New, new, oh, new, ooh, new. So like, I don't new. even have it. Yeah. Oh. I don't even have it. <gasps> Wait, these are the barbecue shirts? Move. No, these Move. are the DJ shirts. Uh, Did you shirt. just tell a secret? I think no. you told a secret. <laughs> My bad. No. And then Ignore the that. last, wait, I, this one's hard too. Rob <laughs> Barn. Hars, Barn Hars. Thank you, Rob. Woo! Thank you, Christopher. Woo! Make Thank sure, you, Bobby. Make sure that you Just message us. Message us directly on Facebook. And then we'll ship it. And then whenever you get it, you have to tag us in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to see a picture. Selfie mode. In yeah. front of your girl. Selfie. I want to see that t-shirt. Just let us know your size, your shipping info, and everything. We'll get that out to you. Both show. And then we have two more winners to, stay, to announce. And then Olivia at the end is going to shoot. <laughs> but since she let a little secret out, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all. <laughs> we got barbecue Wednesday t-shirts made. They are adorable. They are awesome. Everybody loves a, loves a frocket, a front yes. pocket mm -hmm. t-shirt. Yes. So stay and tuned for that. Next episode, we'll have a little surprise as well, too. A surprise? I don't even know what the surprise is. I don't. Is. What is it? <laughs> wow. Tell me later. Tell wow. Me later. Wow. <laughs> Brain power is not working. I'm sending you so many signals. What's surprise. I don't know. <laughs> what are my <laughs> signals? No, now I know the surprise. Now I know the surprise. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty. Um, usually we will pull off our pizzas, but because they're cooking for 10 minutes, I would love to get Amanda in here. But Sherpa, while she's getting mic'd up, why don't you come in here? Check this out. Check out how these pizzas are doing. Look if at you're those. Just oh, doing no. It. Your mouth fell off. Oh, what? I know. Oh, my goodness. It's come okay. On, my guy. spiders don't look like spiders. Come on, guy. Yeah. So he does let's just have while we're waiting... So if you're just now tuning in, we are doing some spooky potato skin pizzas. I mean, I love me a good pizza. So what we did, we just threw those on 40 minutes, let them just chill in the RT590 at 400, correct? Yes, 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. Yep, and then we pulled them off, halved them, got in there and just did a little bit of this, scooped out all that potato <laughs> deliciousness. <laughs> And then we put them back on for about 10 minutes, just so they can cook a little bit more. Pulled them out, and while we're doing that, we made a delicious sauce. Yeah. We'll drop all that whenever yeah. we do our recipe card. And we have recipe, that's another reason you need to join our group, because we have recipe cards. So the mm -hmm. moment that this is done, you will get the recipe card right there, yep. right then and there, yep. exactly how to make it. But I'm hoping Amanda has something Halloween-y for us. So Amanda, Man do you have Ooh. a drink for us? Amanda. Amanda. Amanda! Hello, Amanda. Hello. All right. What's up? Hey, Shannon. Hello. Hey, hello, Madeline. Amanda. Hey, love. <laughs> well, hello, dirty girlies and dirty dudes. <laughs> <laughs> How can we help you? I am here, Amanda Collins, your brand manager for Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. And today, we are going to make devil margaritas. Mm. Devil. Devil. Mm. So the whole time I thought she was saying double, so I was super excited because you know I, I mean, love. There's gonna be double devil, okay? If, it, if it's there. not butt heavy, it's tequila. <laughs> That's what's in my drink. So. That's the spirit. <laughs> that is the spirit. So yeah. Mm. Hey everybody. Um, so we're gonna make some delicious margs today. What? Got Olivia up here piling my ingredients. We got some wine. Oh yes. You I love. Know you yeah. Yeah. Me and Shannon love to bring red wine, so that is our jam. Yep. All right, all right, show Let's us. Let's get this started. I'm so. amazed by mixology because I might be able to like cook a little bit you, here and there. You're learning, now but I like. Yeah, I love you it. Got your, your I don't measurements know. Down. Yeah, she did teach me how to make the perfect shot. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, so today we're going to start with some ice in our shaker. I'm going to make uh, two drinks at one time. All right, so first you want to start with your tequila. Today we're going to do Tantillo, Jalapeno infused. Yum. 
Yeah, because I know y'all are not scared of spice, which no. I love that. Thank Everyone knows that. that. I feel like that watches our show. Yeah, you can usually use any kind of tequila for these um, devil margaritas, though. But today, we'll just get that little bite, a little scary bite. Mm. It's not too scary. Scary bite. It's very subtle, but. I feel like it's the jalapeno without the seeds. Like, it's yes. the taste of a jalapeno, yeah, but not much. too much of a spice. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So a standard uh, shot is 1.5 ounces, and because I'm making two, I'm going to do three ounces of that. You're making two drinks? I'm making two drinks. At a time. Times. Okay, yeah. at a time. Okay. Because we got to shake and yeah, strain and yeah, do all Yeah, we got four stuff. girls over here. Yeah. That's right. But all want a margarita. We, we don't want do them weak. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we don't do weak drinks around here. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> so we're going to do um, equal parts of triple set. We're going to do three ounces of that as well for two drinks. And then we are going to go with our Dirty Girl Margarita mix. And this is a very versatile mix right here. If you don't have it in your cabinet, you need it. It's a staple. It's versatile. You can make many drinks. Follow us on TikTok. Erica will show you all how to, like, do the most creative yes. Amanda, with this. I mean, Erica has the best TikTok. She does. Best and cocktails under 60 shout seconds. Shout out to Erica. We've got 20,000 followers on TikTok. Give her that a hand. That is amazing. Kill it, girl. We Kill have like it. 100. <laughs> so y'all are doing awesome. Yeah, she's killing the TikTok game for sure. All right, so we're going to do equal parts of our margarita Ready. mix. And this is a very simple drink. We're going to shake and strain. So did y'all, so have y'all ever heard where the original um, margarita recipe came from? No. So there's a lot of um, different stories. Mexico? Well, <laughs> not really, kind of, but not really. But there's a lot of like uh, Ooh, dispute of so where good. it originated from. But I think one of my favorite stories is in 1938, there was a young, beautiful actress on holiday in Tijuana. And so she was allergic to every kind of hard spirit, so except for tequila. So the bartender was, you know, Wow. Checking her out, was trying to like, you know, win her affection. So he came up with a margarita and named it after her because her name in Spanish was Margarita. Margarita. Oh, yeah. That's my cousin's name, Margarita. I thought that was really cute. So if any guys out there wanting to like create a drink to win my affection, go for it. I love to drink. <laughs> what would I be the creation, do you think, for I don't Amanda? Know. It's got to be called like a signature for this. Like it's got to be called a AC Slater because that's oh, my yeah. nickname. <laughs> so we'll we'll just name it that. So if y'all have any drink recipes you want to name after me, drop it in the comments. <laughs> What's your favorite liquor? My favorite, I love tequila. Yeah. But silver, I, gold. I mean, I love I love everything. Honestly, I can <laughs> pretty much drink anything. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do another um, round of drinks, same way that we did before. This is a really easy drink. The Devil Margarita, the first time I ever had this was at the Larder in North Augusta. The bartender there made it for me, and I've been hooked ever since. So we're going to give mm. it a good shake. While you do that, I think I'm going to announce the next two winners. Go yeah. for it. Are you all ready for this? Yeah. So we're going to announce two more winners. One is the full Dirty Girl product line, and the other winner is a rub and sauce bundle. Yep. And then once we try this delicious drink that Amanda made and try our pizzas, Olivia will let you know what we're going to give away today. But, Amanda, do you want to announce that one for the DG bundle? Yeah, for the Dirty Girl bundle, it is going to be Cody Wood. Congratulations, Woo! Cody. Congratulations, Cody. 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 Thanks for watching. Message us in, and we will, or message into us, and we will definitely get that out to you. And the rub and sauce bundle. Yeah. Shannon told me she had an ex-boyfriend of this name. Wow. Not the same. <laughs> not the same guy though. Wow. Michael Johnson. Yay. Congratulations. Michael. 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 <laughs> wow. <We're coming laughs> <on that. laughs> if the other Michael jo Johnson's watching, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> you're lost. Yeah, your loss. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so this is the last part for our devil margarita. So it's a standard margarita, shake, strain, um, make it however strong or weak as you want it. So then we're going to just take a spoon with your favorite red wine. Uh, me and Shannon are big fans of Cabernet. Right. Awesome. We always have it. Yes, yes. So right against the glass, we're just going to kind of layer that wine on top so it just Ooh. sits very pretty like that. So this was the devil you were talking, not double. This is the devil <laughs> margarita. I feel like the devil wears Prada. You ever seen that movie? Yeah. I feel like Meryl Streep in that movie would definitely drink one of these. It just looks like a power drink. All right, and that's looks easy so peasy good. lemon squeezy oh, as uh, 
Jody would say. Olivia, get in here so we can try our pizzas and we can try our drinks. Well, Save before we try, let's, let's, should we, let's throw some darts. Should we? Uh, yeah. All right. Before. Come let's on. Need a little... <laughs> here you go. Thank For you. you. So yeah, when you sip on this, you're gonna Thank hit that, you. that jalapeno is Thank gonna hit you. your mouth and it's Can't gonna, wait to try it's gonna this. be delightful. All right, hey, cheers, cheers, ladies. Cheers. Halloween. Cheers. Halloween. Cheers. Halloween. Cheers. I don't know why we do that. <laughs> it's a Georgia thing, I guess. Mmm, that's good. Wow. That's good. Amanda, we're gonna get this recipe, right? Yeah. We'll drop of it into In the fact, barbecue group. We already have it on dgmixers.com under recipes. Oh, wow. It's one of our Halloween recipes, so check it out. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Killed it again, Amanda. Olivia? Perfect. You know what? I'm going to do it while I hold my drink in my hand. Do it. Nice. Let's nice. do it. Let me get you a spot. So maybe Walk behind. Let's do it behind here. Behind? Y'all. Okay. Olivia, remember that time this you accidentally sharp. shot a dart at. Uh, was it ben? accidentally? It was it It was no. definitely purposeful. But right yeah. in the middle of his forehead. A we, plastic. We like tip. to play dangerous games when we drink. Made him bleed from the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Horse races. Yes. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Three, two, ah! one, throw! Yeah. Oh, nice! All right, everybody. Moment of truth. That's why we picked the best one. A matador! Wow! Yeah. 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 That's the one I want. Wow. So all y'all need to do is share this video and hashtag I love Chef John. Oh, <laughs> Chef John. I love Chef John. And if you want to tag we any of your friends. We all love Chef John. Yes, we all yeah, do. Chef. We love all our chefs. But we, right. we're going to do a special shout out to Chef John today um, for all the hard work he does for our show and helps behind the scenes. But I love Chef John. Share it. Tag that in your share. And y'all, another thing. Remember. When you share, check your privacy because if you're private and no one can see it, mm -hmm. we can't see it. So yeah. change it. You do the three little buttons at the top, just change it to. I did it. Yeah, to everyone. I want to win. Just Public. everyone. <laughs> I want to win. What a great, what a great giveaway. I'm going to win. Good. I'm so oh, yeah, a matador. If you want to win a matador, share this. Hashtag I love Chef John. Tag your friends. Tag anybody that would love a devil margarita, pizza, Wait. pizza boats, everything. So Let's look at these. How what do y'all think? Those? Sharp, get on in there. What y'all think? Y'all comment which one's your favorite. The pumpkin, the spiders, the vampire, or the mummy? I mean, my mummy looks... I love the mummy. I love the mummy. <laughs> I love I'm the gonna, mummy. I'm going to half them. You yeah. look like so creative. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, half let's half guy. all of them. Sure. All right, now I'm going to decorate my own. You want the, wait, potato. what do you want? Make up your mind. All right. Let's all right. See. Mm, Let's split that. a Amazing. pumpkin and all. You want the, okay. the other half? Yes. Do so you want olives or no? Here, you take. You want that half? Sure. You want me to put? All right. Ooh. Good like job. Delicious. Like Delicious. Let's see. All right, you wow. go with this one. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna go with wow. this olive one. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That is good. Oh my mm. gosh. That's really good. That's really good. That's pretty good. Y'all, y'all wow. need to do this at home. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to do this at home. Mm. Super simple. I'm getting hints of that oh, that's habanero, great. that dirty girl habanero. That, so, that sauce, girl, that you sauce. killed it. Girl, I got saucy I fingers. I don't care. No, no it's spicy. Great. I love it. Good <laughs> and job. And then I taste that hickory pellets. Mm. Yes. Giving some great taste in there. Shout All right. Out Shout mm. out King So Kerb. recap real quick. 400 degrees, 40 minutes, whole, to, whole potatoes. Mm -hmm. Take Delicious. them off. Let them cool down a little bit. No rush. Then cut them in half, hollow them down to a fourth of an inch with potato left, put them back on the grill face down, spray the spray the um, the skin with, you can do spray butter, you can do nonstick, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to take them off, do that awesome sauce that Shannon made. If you check out Barbecue's group, you'll see the whole recipe. Oh. And then top it with oh. your favorite toppings. It doesn't even have to be halloween -y. This is something that you can do for All parties day, yeah. and just slice it like into Delicious. fours, whatever you want to do. This would be a great game day. Yeah, and mm. then throw it back on the grill for about another 10 minutes, and mm -hmm. then you're good to go. And pair it with your perfect favorite Dang. Dirty Girl drink. And look, to go along with Halloween, it looks like you got blood all yeah, over it your does. fingers. Yeah, it really does. But again, Delicious. share. Smash that yep. share button. Check it out. You're going to win a matador if you hashtag I love Chef John. Tag your try friends. Try these. You're in a chance to They're win a so matador. Mm. Please try this. Let us know what you think. Um, stay tuned. We go live at 5 p.m. tonight after hours. 
Tomorrow is Product Spotlight, and Chef John has Late Night Munchies on Instagram. If you well, do you not have Instagram, you better get it, because he makes the most and delicious. Make, and make sure you head on over to Twitter right after this. Yes. We got our after show little thing where we all talk about everything. Get a little bit for No, you. that's for later. Oh, for later? Uh, <laughs> flavor saver. Flavor saver. Flavor saver. <laughs> right here. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Let's hope that y'all still like us. Let's come back for a fourth <laughs> week. Sure, Just blood. Sure, sure. Four weeks. All right. Make sure you share and also hashtag I love Chef John. And we'll see you at, at the Red Tech. Tech. Woo! Mm. Dude, this is so I good. Never